Nice. Nice. All right, here we're gonna take a look at shooting off a back pedal. So this is a necessary action in multiple game situations. Right now we're gonna break down the footwork behind getting it off quickly. So Sterling's gonna start right in front of the rim and all I want him to do is back pedal. So we're gonna start pretty basic with this. As he gets into his back pedal, right before that ball hits his hands, instead of him continuing catching, stepping here and then into space, I want that ball before it hits his hands for him to lift and then pop his feet off the floor, replacing his feet and getting into a shot. This is mandatory, especially if he has limited time. Yeah. Now, same concept with this. He's just gonna work off the short corner or corner area. But remember, I can pass whenever I want as the trainer. I just need him to focus on as he gathers, he has some flow and then he can raise up into a shot. Our main emphasis right now is the footwork though. All right, so him being able to backpedal and then flow while, as he replaces his feet. Yep, come on. Five. Other way. This is a great job of as he gathers the ball, as he catches it, he doesn't. He's not stiff, and I, I see a lot of players work all of this. When you catch the ball, you'll notice he's here, and his whole body is flowing up into his jump shot. That gives him his rhythm. He's not catching the ball here, sticking, and his body just low, and then he comes up. His whole body is moving. That's his flow, and that's his momentum, and that's obviously one of our keys to having good flow and timing into the jump shot. Replace. Solid. One. Good. We're gonna tie in a little more game application. So we'll start at the at the elbow areas. All right, and this was is gonna simulate now maybe on a primary break. Point guard's bringing it up. Sterling's a phenomenal shooter. So say he's running the slot of the wing. We have an initial break opportunity, but realize that the fat, it's not there anymore, so he'll plant and get back out to the three-point line as quickly as he can. There's multiple ways to get back, but you, at times you want to keep those shoulders open so you can read, and I want him to replace and shoot. Obviously, if he doesn't have that time, he might have to sprint out, but right now, remember, we're focusing on being able to backpedal. Oh. emphasis right now is his feet and then his flow. So being able to backpedal, and one of the reasons we're going over this, I see so many players work on this, they're backpedaling, they'll catch, that foot come back, they step in, and it's not wrong, and for some players that's actually an easier, more consistent shot, but that takes time. So we, we want to limit or, or eliminate that time right there and just be able to catch, pop, and go up at an elite level. Other way. One, two. We're gonna work on bumping and fading. So I'm gonna say there's a pin down block area. Sterling's gonna initially curl. Maybe the defender shoots the gap. Corners aren't occupied. So right now the corner's open. We have a pin down. He begins to get into his curl, and I don't care what foot he plants because in a game, you, it's, a, it's a read. So sometimes your, right, your left foot might be down as you start to curl and you read, meaning you would have to drive back off the left foot. And sometimes you start to step here and that right foot's down, and then you push back. So he has to have both, and I don't even want him to think about it. I just want him to curl off of this. I see a lot of coaches teach a certain way, but you have to have both. So right now I'm just gonna ask him to begin his curl. So shoulders will open up to the nail and then push back into a corner three with the back pedal. Square to me. Nice. 
Good. Yeah. Last segment of the way. With this, a lot of times when you bump and fade, the pass is over the top. Right now, I'm not too worried about that. That's another segment where you have to be able to catch high and then flow low. But again, he's curling. I want his shoulders to get square to the nail just to simulate it. Either foot, plant back, and then back pedal and be able to flow and replace into that shot. And like I said, there's no perfect right or wrong. Right now, we're more focused on him being able to catch with flow and not take too much time. Shot, baby. We're gonna do one more action, and this is gonna be um, shooting behind the screen off a of back pedal. So if I had a pin, for example, here, and Sterling begins to come off, it's a little bit later, as he starts to curl, if I'm locking and trailing him, and then at that last second I shoot the gap, meaning I go under the, the screen, he begins to come off, and then it's just a quick step back behind the screen. So the angle is actually behind him, because now that big gets caught behind the screen as well. So I didn't go way back to get the space. I actually stayed behind. As the on ball me, I'm starting to lock and trail. I shoot the gap here. So Sterling's gonna come off to show it. Plant, push back, replace, and then shoot. Tough. Good. Nice. 